button from where we left less left last time. Um, I was showing you how to do a, a game timer. Now I'm going to show you how to do a countdown timer. So we're going to jump into our third person game mode. And this is the code that we've created previously. What we're going to want to do is we're going to copy and paste this just underneath here. And for the count down timer, we literally need to change these values. And by change, I mean we just need to do the opposite as we're going to be counting down this time. So we're going to start with a minus integer, minus integer. Hook that up. Then just delete the not another pin, we delete that one. And we're going to switch this sign around. So we use not the equal sign, we need this one less than. Hook that up. And then we use a minus. Right, so the value should be 1, minus 1, less than 0, minus 1. And for here, we're going to set it to 59 as we're going backwards this time. And we're going to set it back to the seconds. Hook this up there. You can bring it down to here for now if you like. We'll just put a comment in this box and call it. we call it countdown timer. If I can click see the tick. Countdown timer. So up here you have your game timer. And down here you have your countdown timer. You can have both of them if you want, but there'd be no point because what's the point? Um, but we need to set the seconds and minutes here of the game that you of the game length. So I'll show you here. Let's say we want five minutes, and yeah, if say you want you want a game that runs for five minutes. Press play. You can see it's going to be counting down for five minutes. But I'm going to change that for now for the purpose of the tutorial. I'm just going to change it to five seconds and show you what happens after. So here I put the minutes back down to zero and I'll put the seconds to five. Right, press play. Five, four, three, one. Right, can you see how this we have this? We don't want that. So and obviously when the game ends we're gonna want something to happen. Now I'm gonna show you how to do something when the game uh, countdown ends. So from here, what we're going to want, we're going to want to get a branch, and we'll connect this to false. As when it is false, my bad. We'll do this one. Take that one off. So when it's false, we're going to want the engine to stop the game. Or oh, I'll show you. Pull up a screen which says time has run out. So just hook that up there, and we're going to want to get equals 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 integer. I'm going to need two of these, so we can just copy and paste that straight there. Hook true. And then we're going to need to get seconds. And we're going to get minutes as well. And we'll hook these both there. Let's just spread this out a bit. So then out of true, we're just going to do a test. And we're going to do a command line. Execute console command. I'm just going to restart. 11. So now if you compile, save, minimize this, let's say we're playing our game. Oh no, the time is going down, we've got one second left. The game's gonna restart and you're gonna respawn back to where you where you started. And this is what we want. Right now I'm gonna show you what to do. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this and create a another type of widget which will be a respawn screen. Similar to the desk screen which I created earlier, but this one's gonna say, Oh, you've run out of time respawn or quit and I'll show you how to do that now so let's create a, a use, go to user interface widget blueprint we'll just name this countdown timer finished or you can name it to you run out of time wherever you feel is right I'm just gonna add a simple I'm just gonna add a simple black color at the back anchor this to the full screen Change these values both to zero. And now we've got a black background. We can add a bit of text here and just say you have run you have run out of time. Just put that as big. I'm just gonna anchor this to the middle. A bit too big. 
Got up there. And then we're going to get a button again, like how you've seen before. A bit big, but we will do this. Just put a bit of text in there. We're going to call this respawn. can spell today respawn make it bigger change the color compile and then what we're gonna do is same as last time button on click we're gonna command execute console command and restart restart level Save, compile. Now, if we go to our third person character, we created a death function before. Just show you quickly what it is. So, basically, we're going to duplicate this. Duplicate, I'm just going to call it countdown time of death. We can keep, we can change the sound. I'm not going to put a loud sound. Yep, glad I didn't play that. Um, that's me. Let's check this one out. Steam, let me just listen to it before I put it on. I've just chosen the lighter one, it's not too loud. Don't want to break your eardrums. I will just change this to countdown timer finished. Compile, save. So this should be the same as last time, as the last code, but I'll just run you through it anyway. So off here, we're going to disable input, get play controller. Here is where you play a sound or play an animation, do whatever you like, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going to play a sound. You create the widget, add it to the viewport, cast to play a controller, get play controller, and you want to set mouse cursor so you can click that respawn button. And then we're going to go back to our HUD, no sorry, a game mode, and then instead of this, we're going to cast to third person character, as it's where our function for the countdown timer finishes cast to third person character get player character drag that out and then what we're going to do is we're going to call that function that we just created which is countdown time of death hook that up compile save and now let's see so we're playing the game we're doing what we're supposed to be doing and we're back here so covers today's tutorial um so yeah thank you for watching if there any is, is if there's any request for any videos then just comment down below and i'll see you again soon